Hey everyone, it's Karen. Thanks for being here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your support and your engagement um, and your comments and your encouragement and just for being here. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Karen and um, most of the time on the channel lately I have been doing budgeting videos but I also have um, Bible journaling videos and faith planning videos. I have uh, separate playlists for those things if you want to check those out as well. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, my cash envelopes are getting kind of chunky and so I think uh, fairly soon I'm going to be to be doing a cash condensing video where um, I take out my cash and put it back to the bank and substitute the cash for, um, in this case, it's gonna be a 1K slip with uh, people in the community call a 1K slip. So when you have $1,000 in cash, you take that out of your envelope, you replace it with a 1K slip placeholder, and then that way you can put your money back in the bank so it can earn interest. and that sort of thing. So today I'm going to be making my own 1k slips and um, just kind of walking through the process of how I'm going to do that. So this is my first time doing it so I hope it turns out okay. <laughs> I may not end up uploading this video, we'll have to see. So anyways, um, <clears throat> we're just going to put my money to the side here and what I what I think you'll need, what I think you'll need is um, Obviously, you'll need to design your 1K slip. I did this on Canva. I just did a rectangle box, and then within the box, I did like a text box for the 1,000 and also for the numerical 1,000. So I did three separate ones because I'm not sure which one I'm going to like. But anyways, I printed it on white paper so that you could see, but I'm going to do my 1K slips on vellum. So. You can do your 1K slips on regular paper. Um, I've seen people do it with uh, Cricut vinyl straight onto the laminating sheet. Um, and maybe that's another DIY video for a future date. I can show you guys how to do that on a Cricut. But in the meantime, for those of you who don't have a Cricut, um, just uh, you'll want to design your 1K slip. You can, I'm pretty sure you could even probably do this in a Word document or an Excel document. Um, but yeah, I just happened to do mine on Canva and I have the free version of Canva. So um, yeah, so this is how it looks on white paper. So since I'm going to be doing it on vellum, I have also printed it on vellum, which you can't really see too well. Um, and then my printer I noticed is also running out of toner. So that's why it's not like a crisp image, but these are just for myself, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to be doing three of each because I'm not sure which design I like. So you'll need vellum. And then you also need laminating pouches. This is five mil because this is what I have. I think a lot of people use three mil, which is a little more, um, it's thinner, like a little bit thinner, more uh, flexible. So, um, oh, I wanted to show you my vellum is just Staples vellum. Um, I don't think there, oh yeah, there's a item number down here, but I picked mine up at the thrift store for $3 because I know vellum can get kind of pricey. So um, if you're a thrifting kind of person, sometimes they'll have office supplies. So that's a good thing to look out for at a thrift store. And then you also need a paper cutter or paper trimmer. You don't need one, but it makes things a lot easier. So I have this one that I use. And then off to the side here, I have just um, a regular, I can't even, I can't even bring it over here. It's just the regular laminating. I, a laminating machine. I got this one off of um, Amazon for Christmas, actually, one year. So this is the laminating machine I'm going to be using, and it's heating up. It's all ready to go. So we'll put that off to the side until we need it. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to start by cutting all of these out with my paper trimmer. Um, so we'll move this to the side move my little laminating pouches to the side and then we'll just trim these and i'm just going to trim right on the outside of the black border and i'm just i'm eyeballing it i'm not really using any like kind of measurement 
on the paper trimmer. And if I forgot to mention, which I think I did, when I designed these on Canva, I made my box five and a half wide, five and a half wide by two and a quarter tall. Um, because that's just uh, slightly smaller than a bill. And then I also um, wanted to leave room for the um, little air bubble that happens when you run it through the laminator, which I'll show you when I get to that point. So um, I'm just going to finish trimming. This is what they look like. I'm just going to finish trimming and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have all of my 1K slips trimmed and cut out. So I'm just going to set these to the side so we can load our laminating pouches. Um, I'm just going to open it up and let's see how many I can fit. I have six. Maybe I can fit. I have six. I have nine. Guys, I cannot. <laughs> I can't count. We're just gonna do three per per pouch because that's what I pulled from my stash. So let's just um, space these out a little bit more. Okay, so there's the first one. Okay, and then we'll do these ones. The hollow-ish kind of ones. I forgot what font I used. Sorry about that. I guess I should have made note of it so I could tell you guys. Um, but Canva has all kinds of fonts um, that you can choose from. So whatever suits your fancy. Okay, there's that one. And then this last one. This is the font that I used for my um, envelopes, for my um, cash stuffing envelopes. So I just put that there or use this one just to see how I like it. Um, again, it's just for my own personal use. So I don't have, doesn't have nothing has to be perfect, nothing has to match. It's okay if my toner is running out because it's just for my own personal use. But I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through the process in case you wanted to make your own for your own personal use. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side and bring over my laminator. Um, this part, I'm not sure how much you can see. So we just feed it through. You wanna put the sealed part in first. That's what um, that's what the instructions say. So I'm just gonna feed this through. I'm probably gonna put it on fast forward because it does take a while to go through. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this off because I'm done with it. Move it over to the side, put it away later. So these are my sealed and glued uh, cash slips. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm gonna cut each one of these out, um, but I just wanted to show you um, the laminating pouches, they kind of, the inside, when you, inside of the laminating pouches, when you fold them over, it's like glue. So they glue, it sticks together. That's how they work. The insides stick together, but along the edge, I don't know if you can tell, but along the edge of your paper or whatever it is you're laminating, you have this little, um, it's like an air bubble. So when you're cutting out your items, whatever it is you're laminating, you want to be careful not to cut into that air bubble. Otherwise, you'll um, break the seal kind of thing. It, it's not glued together this in this air bubble. So you want to trim on right along the outside of that little air bubble. I don't know if you can see it. Mm, let's see. Will this help you to see it? No, that's even worse. So anyways, you just want to cut outside of the air bubble. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now I have each little 1K slip all cut out. I have the see-through ones. I have the mm, cursive ones, and I have the ones that match the brand um, of my logo. So, or my channel banner. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna round the corners. Um, just because they they kind of hurt when you poke yourself. So I'm gonna round the corners of all of them and then I will be right back. So I forgot to mention, I think at the beginning of my video when I was men um, running through the list of things you'll need, you'll also need a corner rounder. And I just got this off of Amazon as well. I think it was like $6. And then I use the four millimeter rounder. And you just put the corner of your whatever it is you want to trim and then you just press down so I'll just finish this one real quick okay so that is all of them so now that I have nice rounded corners on all of my 1k slips and I have three of each I have this one I have this one and I have this one. So that is, um, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. I will be back for a cash condensing video. Oh, real quick, just so you know. This is your bill. And then this is the size of the insert. So it's just a little bit smaller than a bill. just so you can see and then you can see the transparency as well so if you're using regular if you're just using the um, Cricut vinyl on your laminating pouch it's going to be more see-through um, but uh, that's why I did mine on vellum because I wanted it to be a little a little frosty so that is how it compares to a regular bill just so you can see okay so that's going to do it for the video. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found it helpful, like I said. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to respond to everyone who comments or has any questions. Um, and then if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.